how to get true fans in 2018. Cool? Cool. It's actually like 1 p.m. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I don't want to seem negative and you know like a Debbie Downer, but literally my neck is in so much pain. I literally can't twist my head to the right. Do you ever feel that when you wake up sometimes? It freaking sucks, okay? So yeah guys, I'm here with my mom. Hi. Mom, how serious is this neck pain right oh, now? Oh, I think it's very serious. I might die, just kidding. If I talk like this the entire time, I literally can't turn my head this way or else I just scream in tremendous pain. So I'm gonna go to Portland today. What are we doing today, mom? Oh, uh, we're gonna pick up your old violin in violin Yeah, shop. so you guys know, like some of you guys know, but I do play violin. And at this point, I am actually picking up music again and marketing and just the instrument in general. But one thing I did, oh my God, oh. <laughs> Why aren't you at school, guys? <laughs> it is so funny. I just saw someone from school. I dropped out. For real, this morning I just woke up to like a sharp. How do you describe it? It's just like, have you ever woke up and there's just immense tension in your neck? I'm gonna be like talking like this the entire time, which is fine. Angle's good. This morning I uploaded some things to the application for podcasts. I talked to my guinea pig group. I did a little bit of UI and UX for the app interface. Oh, you know how Instagram like you swipe up and stuff? Like that's what I'm designing now, like the experience for the user right now. So it's still in like very, very scratchy skeleton mode, but we're getting somewhere and we're now off to Portland for the rest of the day. I freaking love NF. How did I not find you before? He's so good, guys. Fangirling. I don't even know. How, he's so good at what he does. He's a rapper. Anyways, I got a question from Nate asking how to get true fans. So this is going to be a very long-winded answer. I, I just going to admit it. Like this is going to be one of those videos where you have to grab a snack. This question is hard and the magnitude of me trying to explain it is going to take a while because it's important. But to get there, I have to like unwrap every single, you know, like the onions, you know how like onions have layers? Like I had to unwrap every single layer to get the answer, which in the very beginning is just about patience and having a really good mind mindset on your content. Ah, my neck! Um, so I'm going to talk a lot if you want to grab a snack. Oh, is it good to- Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Mission today was pretty great. We have successfully got the violin in the bag hiding. We got a really yummy bubble tea, which is taro flavored. My neck is still in pain, but yeah. Go back home, got a coaching call to do, got a, another meeting, and then we're getting a new case for my phone. And as we're chatting, I got a question from Nate asking how to get 100 true fans. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the mentality that you only need 1,000 true fans to basically quit your 9 to 5 job, like full-time income lifestyle, like you made it. But one thing, and you only need 1,000 true fans because those people are the people that like, cut their arm off to meet you, buy your product, basically whatever you say they do. And everyone's talking about a thousand true fans and I'm just like, how to get 10 true fans? Not even 10, like two. Most of you guys don't, don't even have one. And let me define what I mean by true fans because there's so many definitions and I feel like we need to make it clear on this channel. Cool? Cool. Guys, freaking Ross has this phone cases and screen protectors for like five bucks. So lit, I don't even know how. I think 100 true fans really come down to, you know, getting that first one person to trust you. I don't know what you guys are selling or what you guys are doing on Instagram, but typically I see a few mistakes and it's like people try to build something that they don't know if it's gonna be helpful to people and they put an arbitrage number of like a thousand or something. Like you really don't need that many. Like most of you guys have zero. So my little worry or question is how are you gonna get from zero to a hundred? Because let me tell you, and I hope this can sink in, but like zero to a hundred is a lot different than 100 to 1,000. If Have you ever seen that test thing? It was like people try to see if they wanted something for free or 10 cents. Similar product, different quality, but the obvious one won that was free and it's just a huge difference. Like they won by a milestone. This is my little tip. And if you understand why I think true fans are important, but no one ever can grasp, I guess, definition of how to get them because it's hard. I've been rooting for you, man. I've been researching all this shit, getting the editor done for your EP. And I just saw Spotify launch Spotify ads. Like you can literally play the Spotify f***ing ad. What? Hi! So I'm back home. I think we were just talking about true fans. Sorry, kind of got off track. Lesson, man, how to get true fans. It's so hard for me to explain this and why other people can't really teach us that well. It's because when I grew on YouTube or Instagram, do you like understand? It was when I didn't expect it. I don't want to call it like finding shit an accident. Like no, there's purpose behind it. Someone blew up, but Previously to that blow up, it was seven years of like, hard work. I never put like myself in a box and like made myself hit a limit or a standard. Like, let me get these 100 true fans. Like, I never ever thought about that. But here we 
we are, like just fast forward like a month and a half now, I, I believe the domination's super strong. Because we all understand we're not full of BS, which I love you guys. But back to the point, how to get true fans. This is the root of it. I keep like trying to spin around and like avoid this thing, but it's just, think about it guys. A true fan needs to be built off trust and solving their problem. Most of you guys don't know what your customer's problem is because you're so up in your head about what you want to bring to them. Most of you guys are building a product that you think is going to blow up on an internet because you think it's going to do well because you think that you're better than everyone else and that you know what you're doing when in reality you just freaking bought an ebook online that taught you how to freaking do a startup website and you just think you're the shit. So I always think guys, when people say I'm going to start a YouTube channel, I laugh. Okay, you have to start and stop complaining. Literally, I just got a DM from a girl and she said, I've been doing YouTube for two weeks. Why do I only have a couple hundred subscribers? It pains me to see someone so impatient that wants something so fast. Like, you've only been doing it two weeks, girl. Two weeks. Are you kidding? Like, <laughs> I really want you guys to meet a good friend of mine. Her name's Macy. She's been doing this for eight years at this point youtube she's a vlogger talking about like food and lifestyle i never realized how hard people work to get where they are and i'm sure she's about to blow up like right now she has like 4,000 subscribers but her community is so engaged and i believe macy accumulated a really good group because she didn't really put pressure on herself to reach a certain limit same with me like i don't we don't expect it when you put expectation you're gonna be just bound to like feel disappointed and i don't want to say like you can't reach 100 true fans because ideally you just need a product that solves people's problems and I know this is a long-winded answer, but you have to make a product that actually solves their problem Not your problem not the problem you think is gonna work I'm gonna come up with a better answer Nate for the person who asked me this question It's like don't say 100 true fans. Okay, just do it. Um build a product by doing a lot of sh and I did a lot of stuff like I think my YouTube was only mediocrely successful or it looks good or there's at least followers or people watching because I kind of tried a lot of stuff before and I need to know what works so many of you guys go full like 100% into an idea that you think is gonna work because you saw an Instagram ad here here's your question answer to a question if you want some people to follow you if you want 10,000 people to follow you believe in feet free sh engage expand timing i use that in how to get clients for photography businesses but i just realized it applies to life it applies to every single thing timing has a huge aspect you got to do free sh expand engage be helpful to people that's why i've always said don't expect it expectations kind of kill you i don't know if that answers the question i will come i'll formulate a really good answer but to be honest guys i think the theme of this is to find out what you can actually give to people that make some pay attention or pay money for you guys if you're a vloggers you might want to get entertainment down and get people to pay attention to you it's hard for people to care about your life when their life has nothing to do with you and they don't feel the connection because they don't feel any value that's why i really like the idea of tutorials getting started get started with something that's shareable bingeable valuable entertainable persuadable do you guys know what i'm saying like you guys can market it harder as much as you want let's talk about mindset okay for a second stop shoving it down people's throats have a good product first the way you tell if the product is good is by Asking, distribute, see what people think. DM someone, ask people to review your work. I hate that, but it works. Or post it on YouTube, see how people react. If it's zero content, zero reactions, you have to keep going. And it's hard to get feedback from people. Like, don't get the attention. You could place an ad. The market will tell you if you suck. Either that or you're impatient. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna go back inside, work a little bit more. Congrats to comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to Chris editing this video. Shout out to Macy. Just people who are crushing it out there that believe in me as much as I believe in them. It's hard to find people that are genuine and catch you guys in the next one. Give this video a like. Self-plug Jade. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.